In this video, we're going to be looking at a 20 by 40 foot swimming pool, average depth of five and a half feet, approximate 33,000 gallon volume. Now, this is kind of a worst case scenario because this is a really big pool, but on this setup, we only have a single inch and a half suction line and a single inch and a half discharge line, and we'll be monitoring the flow rate through that yellow flow meter. Now, the equipment for this setup is a one and a half horsepower Hayward Super Pump variable speed. This model is the SP2603 VSP with 230 volts. And the filter that we're using is a 150 square foot filter. The, in this situation, with a large 20 by 40 pool, but only using inch and a half suction and return lines, you're pretty limited. And in a lot of cases, you could even make an argument like you can't even really benefit from a variable speed pump, but you really can. So let's, let's go ahead and break this down a little bit more. Let's look at first our filtration goal. And it's, as you can see, three times the volume of the swimming pool, 99,000 gallons per day. And the reason why that number is three times the volume is we want to effectively filter all of the water in the pool. If you only filter 33,000 gallons in a day, well, you don't actually get all of the water. Some of it gets done twice or three times, and a lot of it doesn't get done at all. By the time you, you filter three times the volume of the pool, you're achieving approximately 95% of all of the water in your pool being filtered at least one time. So for this example, we're going to call this the minimum amount of filtration that we're aiming for, 99,000 gallons. So let's say you had a 3,450 RPM pump. If you only have a single speed pump, that's the RPM that you have. And on this system, which is a very basic system with approximately 30 feet of head resistance, we're able to achieve 71 gallons per minute when the pump is operating at maximum speed, this one and a half horsepower pump. During that time, we're consuming 1.26 kilowatts of power 1260 watts of power consumed every hour that the pump is operating like this so if you had a single speed pump in an around one and a half horsepower or you ran this super pump variable speed at the the maximum rpm around the clock 24 hours a day you would achieve 102,240 gallons our goal is 99,000 gallons a day. Well, that's, that's pretty much bang on right there. So that's it. There's no benefit. I can't, you know, if I've got this variable speed pump, but basically we just learned I need to run it at maximum speed 24 hours a day in order to filter the amount of water that I need. And jumping down here, just take a look at that. 24 hours a day, 1.26 kilowatt hours times 13 cents is the nationwide average per kilowatt hours. 3.93, $3.93 per day, $1,434 per year of operation for this pump. So now let's take some, some additional considerations here. What if we turn down the pump a little bit instead of 3450, what if we did 3200 or 3000 or even as low as 2750? What happens when you're at the higher RPMs is there's a very sh very sharp efficiency loss and as the rpm value goes down so does the flow rate 71 gallons per minute 66 gallons per minute 62 gallons per minute but the power consumption drops much more aggressively 1.26 kilowatts per hour 1.02 0.84 in 0.65. Now, this is pretty significant. We are losing flow. We want 99,000 a day. Our first test, 102,240 per day, 95,000, 89,000, 80,000. Now, as a pool and spa specialist, I want you to filter your water three times every day as the minimum value but i know that most people don't do that most swimming pool owners honestly are in the one turnover per day range which really isn't enough you know you're leaving a lot of filtration on the table 
you're using a lot more sanitizer than you need to to keep your water clean. You could filter the water more and use less chemical sanitizer in your pool. And that's one of the things that I want you to experience by having a you know, high turnover rate, three times the volume of your pool as the minimum value. But if we could just look at this and look at this 80,000, just right down on the bottom here, we were at $1,434 per year to run this pump 24 seven on maximum speed. Well, if we did 2750 RPM, just down a bit from 3450, we're still getting 56 gallons per minute. I mean, we were getting 71, but 56 is still pretty good. And we're at 650 watts per hour instead of 1,260. So while we've dropped the filtration value down a little bit, 80,000 gallons instead of 102,000, we've actually dropped the power down substantially. Look at that bottom equation, 24 times 0.65 kilowatts times 0.13, and that's the price per kilowatt hour nationwide average, $2.03 per day, 740, almost $741. But that's down from the 1434, that's almost half. You've cut the operational cost in half by going from 3450 to 2750. We did lose some of our filtration volume, 102,240, all the way down to 80,640. But honestly, if I own this pool, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about 32, 3,000, possibly even 2750, especially if this is a pool that doesn't get a lot of use, doesn't get a lot of sun, and doesn't get a lot of organic debris. Maybe you could convince me that less than three turnovers per day is acceptable because again, this is a less than ideal situation. 20 by 40 foot swimming pools should have bigger plumbing than inch and a half. But if that's what we're limited to here, then you know, you're pretty much, your hands forced here that you need to run your pump an awful lot in order to achieve, you know, any reasonable filtration goal. But I think that it's probably worth looking at turning down your RPM just a little bit. And that small amount that you can turn it down actually will add up to be significant savings over the, the lifetime of the pump, certainly enough to warrant the additional cost upgrading to a variable speed pump. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.